folks, Redneck Vapor here. It's hump day again. And if you ain't noticed, if you watched my last video, yes, I was wearing this shirt in my last video, but that was Saturday. I've done my laundry since then. I love this shirt, especially when it's cold outside. Anywho, what we're talking about today? I figured I'd take one, you know, how do you say this? I, uh, I know a lot of y'all seen Matt from Suck My Mods video out there where he vapes a CE5 to show these, these researchers that nobody vapes them at five volts. Well, he took one for the team doing that. Well, I don't want him to be alone. I feel like it takes more than one of us to, to show them folks out there that it's not possible. You know, any one person can do something and not everybody's gonna believe it. I believe the man, I really do. I love dude over there. Shout out to Suck My Mud. Him and V over there, awesome, awesome bunch there. I'm sure every single one of y'all that watches me watches, at least watches them. Yep, <laughs> it'd be crazy not to. Anywho, well, I've had a few people that ask me, well, can you even still get CE4s or CE5 style tanks? Sure you can. Mainly, the places that I've seen the CE4 style, which the CE4 style looks exactly the same, except like with this one, this is a CE5. Except with the CE5s, the bottom's got some knurling on it that you can unscrew and you can change the heads out on it. That's my understanding that that's the difference between the CE5s and the CE4s. Now you might, might ask and go, well, Redneck, what the hell does CE stand for? As far as I know, folks, it stands for Consumer Electronics. I don't know where they came up with the names of calling these tanks CE4, CE3, CE5s. I haven't a clue. Anywho, let's get on with it. So I got one of these. Actually, I got a couple of them. Because here's another place you can find them. A lot of local brick and mortars still have these style tanks in their starter kits. This right here is a Smoke Tech Redux kit. And it has two CE5s, two 900 mAh batteries, some extra coil heads and a charger. And the little Ego cases. These things are still getting sold at local brick and mortars. You know, as starter kits. Which, I mean, they make a great little starter kit, but it's starting to get out of date starting to see better ones like the amazing kits out there and uh the e kits and stuff are starting to show up a little bit more that have the bottom bottom coil setups in them but anyway i've got one here on my eye stick and i've got it filled up with a 50 50 blend and i'm gonna vape on it for y'all i'm gonna take one with matt from suck my mind i'm gonna show y'all at 3.3 3.7 and I'm going to take it up to 5 volts and show y'all exactly what I think about the experience at those different volt voltage levels. Son of a bitch. Anywho, I'm back. I can never get a video all the way through without somebody calling or some texting or something. Something always distracting me. Anyway, let me pull this off the charger. Got it on a little eye stick just for, you know science purposes because it's got a nice looking little screen on it where I can show y'all where I'm sitting at. So I got it on 3.3 volts right now. I don't know if y'all can see. It's got a 1.8 ohm coil head in it, which I think what they used in that study was a 2.1 or something like that. But for the purpose of just showing that anybody can pick one of these up off the, off the streets and it, it's going to vary from 1.8 up to 2.4 probably. But just for the purpose of science, this is the one I'm gonna use. That's the CE5 style tank. I've got a 50-50 blend in here. This is some cookie cutter from FF Vapor. It's a 50-50 blend and 12 nick. That's what I'm gonna use for this little experiment. So I got it at 3.3, y'all saw that, 3.3. Let's have a vape on it.
Not bad. Not bad at all. I could definitely quit smoking using this. I could. Okay. Let's bump her up to 3.7. 3.7 on there. Which is pushing 6.8 watts according to this little eye stick here. Okay, I'm getting more flavor, more vapor, more more of a warm bait. But not bad by any means. Not bad at all. All right, now here comes the interesting part. Let's bump this up to five volts. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Let's bump this sucker up to five volts. There we go, five volts. It's saying that's gonna be 12 and a half watts is what it's saying on the screen right there. Let's have a vape on it at this. This is at the, the rate the researchers are claiming is producing formaldehyde, which can be dangerous for us. All right. I'm a little scared, folks. I ain't gonna lie. Oh! Woo! That burns. You see my eyes starting to tear up a little bit, all red. There ain't no way. And that, I don't think that was even a full five seconds. I'm gonna do a five second one just for, <clears throat> hold on, let me have a drink. All right, I'm gonna try to do a full five seconds for y'all. On my hand, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Hold up, one second. Okay, folks, I'm back. I just about got sick. There ain't no friggin' way. Ain't no friggin' way. Let me let that try and juice up just a little bit more. I can't even take the whole damn five seconds without it choking me up. Y'all can see shooting it up to that voltage, it's done brought the ohm load up to two, vo uh, two ohms. I'm gonna try it again. I don't know if y'all can count. I'm gonna look on the screen there and see if I can do five seconds. I can't do it. So my hat's off to you, Matt. Over there, suck my mind. You was able to take the whole five seconds. There ain't, there ain't no way. No way. These things right here are designed for these style batteries right here. Let me put it back on there and see if I can get a nice hit off of that. Get that sucker juicing a little bit. A little bit better, but I can still taste the burntness in there. But this right here, is what these tanks are designed for. They're designed for a regular 3.7 to 3.8 volt battery. They're not designed to go up to five volts. You can't use them at five volts. So the danger level on these, in my opinion, is pretty damn slim because ain't nobody gonna use the damn things at that rate. If they are, they ain't, they, <laughs> they're crazy. They're friggin' crazy. See, that tastes more like it's supposed to. Anywho, thanks a lot there, Matt, for taking one for the team. I'm taking one with you, bro. Uh, bro. I'm still choked up by that shit. Anyway, I'm taking one with you, bro. If y'all hadn't checked it out, I will link his video in the description so y'all can check it out. He gets more into the explanations of the research and everything. He links all kinds of good articles to look at and the responses to that, that study. And I guess I'm just going to end this up. 
and I'm not going to end it up taking a hit off of that thing at five volts. I'll tell you that. Oh hell, it's science. Let's do it. Let's do this. I'll take it off the battery it's designed for. Put it on one that can do five volts. <coughs> Robin, yeah. Here we go. Five volts. And I'm going to end this thing out. Like always, folks, this is Redneck Vapor. Y'all keep on vaping, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> I'll make myself sick again. Oh, that shit burns.